Welcome to the She Is Podcast, where we are encouraging and equipping women to be confident in God's promises. I'm Jamie. I'm Sherry. I'm Nicole. We are women in different ages and stages of life. We are active in ministry and are here to have a Bible-based conversation about our identity in Christ. So get ready to be encouraged and equipped as we share with you today. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the She Is Podcast. Hi. Yay. So we are here with some new friends. Well, old friends, actually. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to have an amazing conversation with Amanda and with Jenny. So we're just going to introduce them to you real quick. Um, so first off, Jenny is a friend of mine. We have, gosh, we've known each other Probably about 20 years. Yes. Honestly, yeah. Yeah, we have. Yeah, way back to, what was the coffee shop? Quackenbush. Oh, really? Since Quackenbush. Oh, oh my <laughs> goodness. Oh, I love that place. See, I oh. forgot about that. I, yeah. I just remember um, I would uh, drive Jenny home from youth group mm-hmm. oh, and I think church. You Sometimes oh, you'd have yeah. to stop by and like close up and do things at work and I, you took me with you a few times. Oh, really? Yeah, that's oh. why I remember. I don't oh. remember. That's so funny. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, yeah. yeah. So Jenny is going to be, yeah, helping share the word today. It's nice and, to be here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And then uh, we also have Amanda, uh, who happens to be my daughter. Yay! Yeah. Yeah, we also go way back. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah, from day one, pretty much. Yeah, you yeah, know. 30 something years. You yeah. don't need an exact date. But <laughs> right, right, yes. Which, That'll which do. is 30 plus. 50. Right, yes, yes. Um, and so, yes, it, this is going to be really fun. Uh, mm-hmm. We're all here going to be talking about the Mom to Mom conference. Mm-hmm. That we um, that we've had, and so this is going to be beautiful. Being able to have Jenny and Amanda share their heart with us today. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So um, yeah, we are just wanting to connect um, moms with moms, ladies with ladies, and um, yeah, both of these ladies are going to be speaking at the conference, and uh, we wanted to give them a chance to share with um, our listeners um, in just a kind of more personal, kind of conversational way like we like mm-hmm. to do here on the podcast. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I think uh, we, we're just we're just going to be learning and listening, and, and yes. uh, yeah, I'm really excited for what you guys are going to share yes. with us today. Yay! Awesome. Yeah. So I just wanted to... Um, to just um, explain to you what the Mom to Mom Transitions Conference is and how I received that from the Lord. Um, years ago, I, moms would just come to me with these questions, like, like I would know the answer. I, <laughs> you know, if you know anything about me, I kind of messed up throughout the mom thing here, there, sporadically. <laughs> Think I got it right, but then well-meaning people would come along and totally mess with me again. And I really vowed that if ever a day came that I got this right, I would not do it to someone else. Mm -hmm. And I've worked very hard to be an encourager instead of a pick-it-apart, you're-doing-it-wrong type person. And so then I, I... Got this wonderful paid position at the church, uh, being the the women's pastor and women's director. And the Lord just kept putting that on my heart, that we need to have a teaching, a time together, so that moms could encourage other moms. Bring in generations Mm -hmm. of moms, from the ones that aren't a mom yet but want to be, to the moms that have been there, done that for several generations. And... And, and to bring them in together so that we can learn from one another mm-hmm. and so that we can understand that we're not alone, that the lady that's in her 80s and 90s dealt with the same things and the same perspectives as the young mom today that baby is only two weeks old. It's the same thing. And society is so cruel. And other moms, even in the church, other moms will look at them and say, well, I, I just don't know. I guess they didn't punish their child enough. And do you not see your child doing this? I mean, we'll be in the store 
Uh huh. Don't even get me started. I'm sorry. Right? Right? <laughs> and you'll be in the store and a child's going off and the mom's like, whatever. Here's the problem. The mom is all nervous, and the mom's like, everybody's looking, and everybody's judging. The grandma can take that same child, same situation, and grandma's like, what you looking at? Right? But the mom feels judged. Mm -hmm. The mom feels like she's got to have it all together. They're critiquing me as why my child is screaming. Why am I not punishing them? Do I not spank them enough? I must spoil them too much. Hello, there could be other reasons. There could be a number of other reasons. Could just be we're having a bad day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's okay. And so the Mom to Mom Transitions Conference is so that we can talk about the different transitions mom go through. Mm -hmm. We all go through them. You know, now we're a single woman, now we're married, now we've got this newborn, and there's no good instruction. Oh, and they just let you leave the hospital with I know, right? (laughs) Like, seriously. Why would they do that? I know. And, and they say, oh, there's lots of books to tell you. But those people didn't have children. Read the authors. They, uh, they, weren't, a lot they of, weren't my children. They, yeah. they weren't my children. And a lot of them are men, and they don't know what they're talking about. Did they give birth to that child? No. So here we are, right? And so we need to come together as moms. And instead of looking at the one next to us in line and go, psh, 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 we should look over and go, honey, you got this. Mm-hmm. Good that job. child is very sweet. And this too will pass. Mm-hmm. Remember this moment also, because this is part of the journey and it's a good journey. Mm-hmm. It's okay. You got this. Good job, mom. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then go right back to what you were doing because Now that mom's not going to go, I just need to just grab my kid, leave the cart where it is, and go to my car. Right? How do you feel? Mm -hmm. You do. (gasps) May have done it. I've done that before. Oh, me too. (laughs) So let's encourage one another. (laughs) And and I I would love for the older generations, we're going to have grandmas there. What is it like to parent an adult who is also a parent? (laughs) How do you do that? Mm-hmm. How do you do? How do you not open your mouth and stress out your child just because you think you know it all? Because I've been there. That, mm-hmm. but, but my child's child is not my child. Mm-hmm. The way my daughter mothers her children may not be the way I mothered them, but they're not my kids. They're her kids, and I need to follow her rules. I still get to be grandma. But those are her rules, and she has them for a reason, and I need to respect and honor that. Mm. And then great-grandma. Pastor Pat's going to talk about Mm great-grandmas and how they, you know, as the generations go by, you feel left out. You don't get Mm -hmm. asked as much. You can't participate as much. And so you, you feel left out or pushed aside. Now you're not the grandma running them back and forth to school. Now you're the great grandma that maybe can't drive anymore, that maybe can't hold the newborn and take care of the newborn as safely as she would like to. This great-grandma now feels pushed aside and and doesn't have the connection. But yet, now she's watching her generations, you know, her daughter's daughter, mother their child. I I mean, that's just, what a concept, you know? So, Mm -hmm. So this is to bring moms together and equip each other with the love and tenderness that we all deserve. We're not doing it wrong. We're doing it our way. We need, we need to stop judging one another. And so instead of judging, we need to come together and encourage. And so Mom to Mom Conference and the podcast for the Mom to Mom Conference is is going to be just that. My heart would be that we would uplift and encourage one another. And so I have a question. So ladies, I mean, it's just days away um, for us today recording. It's days away and our life is very busy. <laughs> so we're, we're trying to get our wording down. We're trying to work our regular job. So what's What's your week looking like this week? I mean, what? I mean, how busy are you? And then we've put this conference on top of that. So, how is that going for you this week? 
I I started um, putting my like outline together. Uh, not like a couple days ago, but like last weekend. Mm. Um, and yeah, it's it's coming along. <laughs> and then and then I kind of yeah rested a lot this weekend. Oh, good. Pretty, yeah, which was good. Except for I was like, um, <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm like, you know what? I'm speaking on Saturday morning, so you know. <laughs> So if you're like, I'm just going to sit back and listen on Friday, no problem. (laughs) So that's how it's going for me. (laughs) (laughs) And we've got two new uh, ladies. So we've got Jenny and Amanda in with Nicole and Jamie and I. So... Uh, and you're probably going, I've not done this before, <laughs> so how do I even prepare? Are you having a crazy week, too? Or? Uh, well, I just work, I work all, you know, eight to four every day, so it's <laughs> it's busy, but, and then I have the kids after school and everything, and so it has definitely been busy, and I've had a lot of late nights up doing this oh. after the kids are asleep, uh-huh. which mm-hmm. is okay, um, but I'm actually looking forward to the conference. I think it's going to be refreshing, and I oh, think it's yeah. going to be really good. That's yeah. good. So, Good. Mm-hmm. Good. Well, my week is crazy. <laughs> so, the kids just started preschool. And they're going oh. together to the same class, so that's oh. fun. Oh. Um, hold on, I'm making a little <laughs> mental image. Oh, so cute. cute. Okay. I have pictures of it. Awesome. Oh, Anyways, I'm going to have to see those. those. <laughs> but yeah, they were painting today, and they're very cute. Oh. Um, but I actually uh, dropped them off, and I, I, I had already started my outline uh, when I was hunting, because I had mm. 10 days mm-hmm. um, out in the woods so I Mm -hmm. was just taking notes on my phone while I was in the tree stand and Mm. yeah we talked about that last time but anyways um (laughs) right after I started swaying you know in the tree that was fine yeah um but yeah (laughs) um but I just kind of sat in my car today and was taking down more notes and getting Mm -hmm. my outline kind of organized and stuff but I'm gonna have lots of late nights this weekend Uh getting ready to go and uh, my sister and I are also doing worship yes. for the conference, so that's going to be fun. But something else. You're not just speaking, but yeah. you're also doing worship. But I'm excited. Like Yay. I don't, I, I don't always get to lead very often, mm-hmm. and my sister Natalie does it all the time. Mm-hmm. Um, she's always leading worship, but um, it's fun when we get to do it together yes. and stuff. So yes, we were getting that ready to go last night and. Mm. So, yeah. It's exciting. I'm fun. so excited. <laughs> and, very great. and Amanda? <laughs> I'm very excited. Um, so, I mean, same thing. I think we could just probably all say ditto, right? I mean, right. we're all moms. Mm-hmm. We're all busy. We all understand that. And so, mm-hmm. yeah, a lot of late nights and a lot of, like, aha moments, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. yeah. um, just doing my my regular Bible reading and going, oh, whoa, oh, oh, is this a direction <laughs> you want me to go? Okay, great. Thank you. I needed that. I needed yeah. the little... A little jump start. So, yeah, yeah I th- it will be great. And I love the word that you used about refreshing because I, I, mm-hmm. I love that because I've been kind of more stressed about it, but it is going to be so refreshing. I, lo- mm-hmm. I love that. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. I think that we're going to get to, I mean, it's stressful getting up to that moment, but I think once we get there, we, we, we can take this deep breath and just yeah. relax and be like, oh, I'm a, I'm amongst friends. Yes. So. Oh. And it's mm-hmm. just going to be a sweet time together and a sweet time in the spirit. Mm-hmm. And I'm just so excited. And mm-hmm. and so, yeah, I think that yeah. we're doing good. I will be tired, but, oh, no. you know, hey. <laughs> I, am, I am excited. So, like, I was a little nervous about my part in it, but I'm super <laughs> excited to sit back and hear everybody else's parts yes. because I think that's where... Yeah, you know, I feel like we're still going to be fed by each other oh, as well yes. as the other mamas that show up. So I'm excited. Yes. Yeah. Okay, well, I will pray, and then yes. Jenny can get started. Yay! <laughs> so. Well, God, we just thank you for this day. We thank you for these amazing ladies mm-hmm. who have come and are going to share your heart with us. Mm-hmm. And, Lord, we just um, pray over this time. Pray, Lord, that it would be an encouragement yes. to uh, the moms who are listening. And we just give this time to you, God. We love you so much. Mm-hmm. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Awesome. So as Jenny gets started, can you just um, tell us a little bit about yourself and about, yeah, who you are as a mom? And yeah, let's get a little, a little backstory. A little backstory. Okay. So, um, so 
I got married when I was, let's see, I met my husband when I was 21, my first husband, when I was 21, got married when I was, and pregnant when I um, had my daughter when I was 22, mm-hmm. my first daughter, um, and so she's 15 now, um, mm-hmm. and I was married to, to that husband for about eight years, um, and about year six, he had started using methamphetamines and stuff, so we ended up getting divorced. Yeah. Um, so I became a single mom of two little girls. So mm-hmm. I had two little girls, and I was raising them. And I went through kind of a tough time because I, like, you know, I when everything happened, he had the house, he had the cars, and mm-hmm. I was ended up homeless with mm-hmm. my little girls. So I lived oh. with my parents for a while. So um, trying to find get back on my feet mm-hmm. and... Um, you know, and I just had, it was really a rough time because I had, like, no ho- no house, no car, $12 mm-hmm. in my bank account because he had wow. taken everything. Mm-hmm. And, like, it was a really challenging time for me, but, like, I, it was a really good time for me because I drew close to God. Like, I drew mm-hmm. close, close, close to God in a way that I'd never had before mm-hmm. and learned to trust Him and knew that He would take care of things, that He would provide for me. Mm-hmm. And He did. He, like, He mm-hmm. met He met me everywhere like no matter what was going on he but always met me mm-hmm. um and so I was really thankful and like looking back on it it's just a miracle because mm-hmm. you know as things as months and went you know months went by all of a sudden things started to just shift and I oh. could feel like God just saying it's gonna you know it's shifting and I'm gonna take care of you like mm-hmm. so um eventually I got the house back I you know I got on my feet um you know, and everything got my, and so I was able to, um, you know, provide for my kids that way. So I had, had the home, got my car going and everything. (laughs) So, um, and I have, I've been blessed with a really good job that I've been at for like over 10 plus years now. So I'm really thankful for that. (laughs) And, um, so that was a challenging time, but God, like I said, just continued to meet with me and to just make things happen, mm-hmm. you know, things that just seemed impossible. Mm-hmm. And now even looking back again, like when I, during that time, I had so much debt, like I had debt oh. out from like the marriage and debt from so much debt. And like, I never thought I'd be out of it, like never mm-hmm. thought I'd be out of it. And now it's been 13 years, I guess. And I'm debt free. Yay! Awesome. So yeah. I've just watched you. God like just move and move and <laughs> yes. move in my life, and just continue to teach me and mold me and show me like how to trust in Him and to walk with Him. Yes. And it hasn't been easy. It's definitely mm-hmm. been a challenging road for me, mm-hmm. but um, I'm thankful. <laughs> and then I ended up having um, later on. I had a second marriage, mm-hmm. and I had a little boy who's yeah. now six. <laughs> Um, that marriage didn't last either, so we got divorced again. So I've been di- married and divorced twice, but I have three beautiful kids. Yay! <laughs> and I don't think it's a coincidence that I was asked to talk about, like, school-age kids, because <laughs> this year, ironically, I have one in elementary, one in junior high, and one in high school. <laughs> 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 the whole so I do have the whole spectrum. Oh. Um, so I go to three different schools every day, and wow. I pick them up every day. So. Um, <laughs> wow. <laughs> And all the activities and things that go along with it. But mm-hmm. it is a blessing, and I'm really thankful mm-hmm. for my kids. Yes. Um, and just God's hand over their lives, mm-hmm. and they're amazing young people. So I'm really thankful for them. Yes. Awesome. Yes. Awesome. Good job, Jenny. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> so, yeah, like you said, uh, you're sharing about like school-age kids uh-huh. today. Um, and at the conference, um, what are, what are some things that, that you'd like to say to moms of, of, um, kids that age or kids that are going to be that age someday? (laughs) Mm -hmm. I think, I think the biggest thing that I would say is to just be patient and love them and try to Mm. enjoy all the moments because Mm. they go Mm. by really fast. And sometimes I feel like we get in the middle of it and we get overwhelmed or impatient Mm -hmm. or frustrated and we're gonna look back and miss all these little things that we're getting frustrated Mm -hmm. about so like just taking a breath and realizing Mm -hmm. that this too shall pass (laughs) (laughs) and like in those moments where you're just like oh my goodness wanting to pull your hair out (laughs) and just realizing that you know just to hug them tighter and love them and give them you know 
just speak gold into them, speak life into them. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because they're our babies. Like, yes. You know, and we, so many times we speak so many positive things over other people mm -hmm. uh, and not yeah. into our own babies, you know, yes. because so just speaking life into our kids. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. I like what you said about this too shall pass um, because we think that about the, the bad times, mm -hmm. but it's also the same with the good times. <laughs> yes. and, and so it just, yeah, every moment mm -hmm. you just want to cherish because they, they come and go, those moments come and go yeah. mm -hmm. so fast. They do. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's hard to get kids to hold still long enough for you to be like, hold <laughs> on, I'm just <laughs> soaking in this moment. It's like, going to pass. <laughs> it is. It's so hard to get up to hold still. It just, it, this is so unrelated, but it reminded me of like my son the other day was at school. And my one of the teachers had said, you should tie his shoe. And I said, oh, I will, I will, I'm trying to. As he's, like, walking away from I'm like, exactly, come back and hold still so I can tie your shoe. But yeah. he's so wiggly, so he was having a hard time, like, holding still long enough for me to actually tie it. But it was super cute. But they do, they do move so fast. And the moments move so fast and the years yes. move so fast. And my oldest one is 15 now and got her permit. And I'm just like, how did this happen? <laughs> Where did time go? I know, I'm like, I don't. But yes. yeah. but I'm really appreciating it and trying to enjoy all these moments with her, too, because she's becoming more of a friend versus a kid, you know, and yes. it's kind of a nice place to be, too. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah. All right. What do you have for us, Jenny? <laughs> um, so I kind of had written down, like, some spiritual markers that I've tried to instill in my kids wow, um, as good. they've grown. Yes. And so um, five to eight-year-olds I was thinking about my little guy and I was just thinking about wisdom like mm. we try to instill wisdom into our kids we try to teach them script scriptures and memory verses and songs about Jesus and mm -hmm. we so many times in Sunday school that's what they're doing they're they're learning their verses they're learning their songs and like so wisdom was my spiritual marker for five to eight-year-olds oh. And so um, I wrote down the ability to apply God's word to life situations so teaching your kids you know Mm -hmm. what the scripture means and why we listen to it not only mm -hmm. like does the scripture say obey our mom and dad okay but it means obey our mom and dad when oh. <laughs> this, you know yes. when we don't want to when we don't feel like it like all the time like all the time not yes. just when we're you know in church and we're learning the scripture but mm -hmm. in those moments where you're you don't really want to <laughs> that's what it right. really means yeah. so <laughs> like so trying to instill that wisdom in them and helping teach them and getting it in the, their heads mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. spiritual wisdom gosh that's, that's good awesome. so good okay and then um so and to grow it to so i said to grow in wisdom your children must learn god's word mm -hmm. okay so then spiritual markers for later elementary um i was thinking like nine to eleven year olds um and I was, I, I just kept thinking, I'm think, I work at a school, so I was like, my word was grace. <laughs> Teaching them grace, because uh. it's so hard for them when, so, well, they said this, or they did that, and all the tattling that happens from 9 mm -hmm. to 11, and teaching them to forgive, and uh. teaching them to show grace to other people. Yes. Um, so, so I said, beyond accepting God's grace, your children also need to learn to give grace to others. Mm -hmm. You know, and they also... A lot of times we deal with this at home, too, especially with, like, sibling rivalry when you have mm -hmm. siblings and, you know, all that. That's not fair. Or, <laughs> I had it first or mm -hmm. all those things. Yeah. Um, and so that was my word for 9 to 11. Well, and I, I teach fifth grade. And yeah. so that's kind of the prime. As you're saying that, I'm these little precious little faces of kiddos in my class are popping up. And you're like, mm -hmm. yeah. yep. It's yep. the age of me. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And so, Jenny, what is your job? I'm a paraprofessional at the city schools. Okay. Wow. And so what age? I work from K through fifth. Okay. Oh. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. That's a big span of age it is a big right there. span of age. I get to work with all of them every day. <laughs> <laughs> I do so lots good. of things, but it's good. Yeah. yeah. Or, and are you like more like kind of like one-on-one -on -one type? Um, I, I'm, I, I do RTI, which is readiness to intervention. So oh. I tend, I work with 
the middle area of the school where they're not like the low, low babies, but they're just kind of on the fence. And I pull them in. I do a lot of groups and interventions. But then I also do recess duties, lunch duties, all those things. So I see them around. I see mm-hmm. all the classes, all the kids, and know them yes. all pretty well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so, you see them in a different light. In a different light, I mean, yeah. I almost feel like sometimes as the teacher, I'm almost more... Uh, Give me grace on this. I'm almost more of mom in the classroom, you know, mm-hmm. and I don't get to see how you act when you go out to recess mm-hmm. or you go out to mm-hmm. lunch. And so it's when, and when they're in the classroom, it's different mm-hmm. because they're like, oh, the teacher's watching uh-huh. us. They have to be good. They have to yes. listen. But when they're outside, they're just playing and they're just yes. themselves. And when they're at the lunch, they're just chatting and talking mm-hmm. and giggling and laughing, you know, like, we yes. were just, you know, and just being silly. And hey, teacher, look at this. And like <laughs> <laughs> showing me yeah. what they have for lunch. And that's great, too. So yeah. <laughs> Before they chew it. So, <laughs> sometimes the combinations are really strange. I'm just like, you enjoy that. I would never eat that. That's fine. <laughs> But uh, it is fun. It is fun because it is a different light. It is different. And I, I do step into the classroom sometimes. I was in the classroom today testing. Yeah. and But it is definitely different in the classroom because they're they're focused on their work and they're they not, are. they're not like, you know, they're working. They're, yeah. Yes. Yes. Which, so, which, I mean, sorry. I did which is good too. <laughs> it, is, it is great. But I, I sneak out sometimes so that I can get the perspective kind of that you get of the kids yeah. because... Yeah, I don't want business all the time. You want to see the giggles that are uncontrollable. You want to mm-hmm. see the, you want my half chewed Cheeto. You know, I mean, <laughs> yeah, you want those. Oh, you get that sometimes. You do. <laughs> <laughs> yep. It's sweet though. It is sweet. Yeah. So it is. It's. I like it. It's. I've been there. Like I said, I've been at, at the school for almost ten years now, mm-hmm. and it's something that I just. It's my passion for sure, mm-hmm. and it's something yes. I really love and. Uh, enjoy and I can't imagine being anywhere else because I just love them they're my babies yeah <laughs> so um let's see so and I wrote down the definition of grace mm. and it says forgetting what's fair and giving others more than they deserve Ooh, no. so forgetting what's fair and giving others more than they deserve mm. so I was like thinking about that and what that looks like not just for like our children to you know to teach our children but do I live that Ooh. you know oh, like am I giving them my children more than they deserve when I feel, when I'm mad at them when mm-hmm. I'm frustrated mm-hmm. in those moments mm-hmm. not always like <laughs> I've fallen short for sure oh. and so <laughs> trying to really <laughs> yeah. especially with my preteen and my teen daughter I'm like okay I need to and that was something that really touched me as I was going through this process of writing this stuff down and just thinking, wow, like, I have a long way to go, too, you know, I'm still, God's not finished with me yet, and I'm, I'm thankful, so, but I was able to talk to my girls, too, and, like, you know, just say, like, I love you guys, you know, mm. I, you know, we had a good conversation, they helped me with some of this and gave oh. me ideas, which was really nice, oh, so, so good, and, yeah, because they're at a good age where they have a lot of insight, you know, mm. and so it was nice to talk to them and hear their perspective mm. on things, too. Mm. I think so that's good. so awesome because I don't. I think some parents don't realize like they can bring their preteens and their mm-hmm. teens into the conversation because right. they are really smart. They are. And, <laughs> um, just working with youth here at the church, it's amazing the insight, the spiritual insight yes. mm-hmm. that they have too. And and I think we need to give them more opportunity to speak that out and give give them a platform, you mm-hmm. know, and and also use that as a training tool yes. as well. So. Yeah. I love that you do that with yeah. your kids. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. I agree. I think I think that they are very knowledgeable. Sometimes I think mm-hmm. that they feel I I sometimes I think they think they know everything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I did love I did love having their insight and it was nice to hear them because it was just it it was something we I don't know, it was just it really touched me to like mm-hmm. hear their perspective of what a good mom is. Oh. And you know, what what they thought of some of these concepts and it was just yeah. really nice. Like so and sometimes there's moments where I don't feel like I've always like sometimes I don't always I feel like I've fallen short as a mom. Mm-hmm. So to hear them mm-hmm. say, Mom, you're a good mom like oh. <laughs> you're a really good so mom. Good. It was really nice. Like <laughs> yes. wow. you know. That's like that's probably the <laughs> best thing you could hear as a mom (laughs) it is it is is. and it was funny I was just my daughters were just so it was it was just a neat conversation so I wish we could have Mm. podcasted some of that (laughs) it's like Lord can we just stop right here for a moment yes yes those moments so um and then as I moved up this is where my daughter 
Madison is, um, spiritual marker for middle school, and she is 12, so she is in seventh grade, and um, my word for, for middle school was trust. Mm. Um, she's definitely in a, in a place where she's deciding, you know, if she's going to trust the Lord if she's going to take control and do things herself Mm -hmm. and trying to find what group she fits in in school and just kind of balancing things out in her life and and really questioning everything. Mm -hmm. So so my word for her was trust. And what does it mean to trust in the Lord with, um, and how about with all your heart? Like that was something I asked her, like, you know, we were able to talk about, you know, and why is God's understanding so much better than yours, you know, and what does it mean um, he, that he will make your path straight. Like, oh, I, you know, that's a good what does question. it mean that God will make yeah. your path straight? And what does it mean to you? Like, and I asked her and she said, that means that he's going to show me which way to go. You know, mm-hmm. and if mm-hmm. I focus on him, he's going to show me which way to go. And yeah. I was like, exactly. Yeah. So mm-hmm. speaking about trust with her and helping her to learn that she can trust in the Lord with all of her heart. Yes. Yes. Um, and so that's kind of where I'm at with my daughter, Madison, is just teaching her to trust even when she's afraid. And she's definitely questioning things like her oh. friendships are rocky sometimes and yeah, like yeah. things. It's just a dramatic age. It is. <laughs> that's a good word that's right there. Age. Oh, my gosh. And so right. she comes and sometimes I don't know what to tell her. And mm-hmm. she'll come home from school and she'll just be like, so and so did and so and so said. And I'm like, OK, Take a breath. Yes. <laughs> trust it. You gotta trust in the Lord with it. You gotta trust him with your friendships. You gotta trust him with, you know, mm-hmm. all this stuff that you're worried about, all the anxieties, all those things, yes. and teaching her to cast those onto the Lord and Good for you. trusting yeah. him with it. Mm-hmm. And it's definitely um something I'm not finished going through yet. But I'm gonna keep on keep it on. Mm-hmm. You know, so um and then my spiritual marker for high school years was perspective. Um, oh, so that's a good word. Mm-hmm. Yeah, perspective. I, I watch Ashley and like she definitely has. Um, so she's in tenth grade, and she's wow. definitely wrestling with tough questions. You know, yeah. like why, why is there evil in the world? Mm-hmm. Why does certain things happen? Why are teachers unfair sometimes? Mm-hmm. Like why. Does bad things happen to good people? You know, Mm -hmm. why did her friend die of cancer? Like, all those things that have happened, like, she's starting to question things, Mm -hmm. all the hard things. Mm -hmm. And so getting perspective and gaining more knowledge. Right, right. So, you know, and um, one thing I was feeling like when I was praying about this was sometimes there's no answers, but I feel like sometimes the lack of adequate answers, it can send their faith, like, crashing down and it can question make them question their faith yeah Yeah. you're right Mm -hmm. so trying to just i i've just been trying to really you know encourage her to pray and to Mm -hmm. seek answers from god because i don't know all everything Mm -hmm. and i can't answer everything right but teaching her to seek answers from him Mm because you know and to trust like i said go back into that trust area too you know yes and so that's kind of where i've been walking through some of that's kind of what I've been walking through with my kids. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I like so. that. Um, I just want to, I want to read that verse you've alluded to a couple of times. It's um, from Proverbs 3, um, 5 and 6. It says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. Mm-hmm. In all your ways, submit to him and he will make make your path straight. <laughs> That's what I have on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> I just skipped over it right here. Yeah. You... No, I, I I saw it on there. Yeah. I was like, I I want to I want to stick there for a second. Yes. It's um I love reading that with the perspective of of your kids in mind mm-hmm. to yes. to teach them that mm-hmm. you know to trust in the Lord with all their heart and lean yeah. not on their own understanding mm-hmm. or your understanding. Right. Mm-hmm. I I I really like that perspective um, and encouraging Ashley to seek the Lord on her own and you know mm-hmm. it's great to have parents to ask those mm-hmm. tough questions yeah. to. But it's hard as a parent. You're it like, is hard yeah. as a parent. You're like, this. This is the moment. You know, if this was a movie, <laughs> I would have something amazing to say right now. Right. 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 Someone would have scripted that for me. Right. But life is unscripted, <laughs> and so it's like I. I'll give you the best I got right now, but 
Mm-hmm. Ask God. This is something that, mm-hmm. you know, what they hear from the Lord, if if they truly seek Him, is going to be way, way, way oh, yeah. better than what they yes. could get from us. Um, and it means so much more when they get yes. that themselves, too, instead of yes. just getting mom's interpretation of what God said. But mm-hmm. um, I I love that you're um, encouraging your kids in that, and I just I love looking at this verse um, with that um, with that in mind. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, and when I hear that, I think of so I've always thought when I've heard these, it wasn't until I was an adult that I really started to look at these scriptures through a different perspective. And so, like with this, with all of your heart, I thought that that was just more of like a with all of your energy. Kind of. Oh. And I've now, I, I kind of more visualize, I'm a very visual person, I kind of more visualize like handing over your heart. And I think it, as a woman, mm. I, I really, that's a tender thing. And mm, I yeah. don't trust yeah. mm-hmm. a lot with it. But actually visualizing handing over my heart to the Lord. Okay, so I, I trust you with all of my heart. Because I know mm. you're not going to, you're not going to allow that very tender part of me to be damaged. And so I think Mm -hmm. that, you know, as a young adult, knowing that if I hand my heart over to the Lord, he's not going to let anything happen to it. I don't, I might not understand, but it's going to still remain whole because it's his. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. That's, that, I've never thought about it that way either. (laughs) That's so deep. And yeah, yeah, trusting the Lord with all your heart, meaning you're not holding any pieces of it Mm -hmm. back. Mm-hmm. When I think even trusting the Lord with your children's hearts mm-hmm. is even, I mean, yes. as a mama bear, I mean, I am a mama bear. I will admit it right now. Like, But to say, God, I trust you with their hearts. I trust you oh, with them. Yeah. Like, and that's mm-hmm. a hard thing to like, let go and say, like, I just, yes. you know, I trust you with who they're going to be yes. and who they're going to become and what they're going to walk through, whatever mm-hmm. that is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I love that. <laughs> That's so good. Thank you. And I think you really hit yeah, you hit us all in a tender spot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, we all went, oh. <laughs> and I'm the big. I, I mean, I might not be the biggest mama bear in the room, but I am. I'm very protective. Like I, I love them, and like I will yes. fight mm-hmm. for them. And in the, we, especially in the last few years, have I might really found my voice when it comes to my kids. Yeah. And I've just learned to, like, to not be so passive about Mm -hmm. how they're treated and to be able to stand firm and to say no. Like, my, like, I have boundaries for my life now and I have boundaries for my kids. And there's a way that you can treat them and there's a way you cannot. Good for you. And so being able to trust the Lord and say, you know, and to know that he's going to do all the, he has better things and more (laughs) for them than I do. Like, and to know, just to Mm -hmm. rest in that. Yes. That's good. So you're yeah. preaching my message now. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. Really so good. the things you're saying, I'm looking at my notes and I'm going, I think I have that exact sentence written down. <laughs> well, I think that it means it's it's something that that we need to hear and it's mm-hmm. a point that needs to come across so mm-hmm. you know if it comes across multiple <laughs> times that's okay because yeah. I, I was having a conversation with someone earlier today it's like things have to be repeated for yes. us to get them yeah that's true. because if you just hear it once you didn't hear it mm-hmm. uh, you got to hear it a couple times you got to get the email a couple times <laughs> like right. Right. before the message gets yes. through so yeah well, and it shows too that we're not alone like we're all oh, experiencing yes. These yeah. things mm-hmm. yeah. we really are yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yes yeah. Yeah, thank you guys so much for sharing and and for opening up not just to us but to to other ladies who will be encouraged and mm-hmm. and equipped through the words that you spoke today yes <laughs> So we want to thank you all for tuning in to the She Is podcast by Refuge City Church. We pray that you have been encouraged and equipped in knowing who you are in Christ. If you're wanting to have a personal relationship with Jesus, pray this with me. Dear Jesus, I know that you love me. I ask you to forgive me of my sins. Please come into my heart to stay and help me to hear your voice and to grow in you. In Jesus' name, amen. Mm-hmm. 
Well, we would love to hear from you. So email us at sheispodcast at refugecity.church. And be sure to subscribe to this podcast to hear more from us every week. And we will be coming um, with more podcasts yes. in the future from mm-hmm. more speakers from our conference. Um, so once again, thanks for tuning in. And remember, until next time, you are a mama bear. <laughs>